What's up everyone, welcome back. The Brooklyn Nets are currently riding an 11 game losing streak. However, help is definitely on the way. After making a blockbuster trade deadline move by trading away James Harden for Ben Simmons, the Brooklyn Nets are going to be looking much different very soon. But will they be better, or will Ben Simmons, Andre Drummond, and Seth Curry be a downgrade from what they were getting with James Harden? We'll talk about all of that in today's video, and try to come to a conclusion on just how good the Brooklyn Nets now are. But before we do that, if you could take a brief moment to drop a like on the video, and hit that subscribe button if you have not already, I really would genuinely appreciate it. Anyways though, now onto the video, and to begin, we will briefly review the blockbuster trade that Brooklyn made with Philadelphia. The Nets traded away James Harden for not only Ben Simmons, but for Andre Drummond and Seth Curry as well, both of which have been very productive role players this year. Ben Simmons may have not played a single game yet this season, but both Curry and Drummond have been balling out, and especially Seth Curry. He is currently having a career year, averaging a career high 15 points per game, and per usual, shooting lights out from the 3 point line at 40%. Before the trade went down, some reports were coming out saying that Brooklyn might have to send back Patty Mills in the trade, or that Philadelphia may not be willing to give up Seth Curry. However, neither of those things turned out to be true. Brooklyn may have not been able to get back Matisse Thibel or Tyrese Maxey, but getting back Seth Curry was a great consolation prize. And not only Curry, but Andre Drummond too. Taking him away from Philadelphia was an underrated move for them to make. They were definitely able to weaken their frontcourt depth, while at the same time improving their own. Drummond may no longer be the all-star player that he once was, but he has finally bought into being a role player, and he has played great ever since taking on that role. He did very well at bringing effort and energy off the bench for Philly, and while he may be going back to being a starter in Brooklyn, he will still be playing into a similar role, and in my opinion, it is one that he can be very productive in. But as we know, the real prize of the trade would have to be Ben Simmons, who could actually turn out to be even better in Brooklyn than he was in Philadelphia. And yeah, I know that his time did not end well in Philly, but I do not believe that was a good representation of who he can be as an overall player. If we are being honest here, Ben Simmons would have to be one of the most unique players in the entire league, and while he may be a bit too stubborn, or maybe a bit too much in his own head to begin shooting the ball, he does affect the game in many other ways. And what Ben Simmons can provide to a team may arguably be even more valuable to this Brooklyn Nets team than they were to the Philly team that he played for. Because unlike when he was in Philly and had to share the court with a ball dominant big man in Joel Embiid, that will no longer be the case in Brooklyn. When their team is fully healthy, he will now be paired with an ultra versatile offensive player in Kevin Durant and one of the most offensively talented guards in the entire NBA in Kyrie Irving. Both of which are far more capable of playing off the ball than Joel Embiid ever could be. And not only that, but they will allow Ben Simmons to finally play into the role that he wants to play into. And if they find a way to incorporate him into their offense correctly, then look out, because I have no worries about what he can provide them on defense. And going back to my point about them finding a way to keep Patty Mills, while at the same time adding Seth Curry, that could be a huge part of making Ben Simmons work on their team. If you did not know, Ben Simmons is elite at creating shots for others. Not only does he average nearly 8 assists per game, but he creates very high quality shots for teammates. For example, during the 2019-2020 NBA season, Ben Simmons accounted for over 33% of Philadelphia's assisted 3 point shots. And with that, 52% of his assists turned into a 3 point shot made. Now that is elite shot creation, and put that kind of guy in a team with Kevin Durant, 
Kyrie Irving, Patty Mills, and Seth Curry, and you have a very dangerous combination. Not only will he impact them offensively though, but defensively too. I could potentially see them running a small ball lineup with Ben Simmons at the 5 and Kevin Durant at the 4. That would be an ultra switchable kind of lineup and one that would utilize Ben Simmons in a Draymond Green type of fashion and who knows, that may finally be the key to improving Brooklyn's defense. In conclusion though, I think that the Brooklyn Nets may have actually found a way to improve here. Now that might be difficult to believe when it involved trading away an MVP caliber player in James Harden, but I really like how Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, and Andre Drummond fit their team. They got a great combination of defense, shooting ability, and frontcourt depth to upgrade their 15-man roster, and given how well Ben Simmons could fit in with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, they may have really found something here. Will it be enough to lead them to an NBA championship? I'm not entirely sure about that, but I definitely do not think they downgraded here, and if anything, they may have upgraded. But what do you guys think? How good do you think the Brooklyn Nets now are? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. But before you go, I would like to invite you to join the official Discord for the channel. If you like having NBA debates and discussion with others in real time, being updated on NBA news, or even being able to chat with me, then you really should think about joining. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to everyone who took the time to watch until the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching and have a great day.